Well, good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Tuesday. Not really, it's pretty gloomy, actually. Um, I'm just gonna get some breakfast real quick because it's early and I need to wake up a bit, you know. Um, today, we're gonna be learning the basics, basically, on how to detail. I'm going to be my buddy uh, Max's place. He's gonna show me uh, the ins and outs, basically, on how to detail. So, should be a bit educational. Man knows his stuff. So, yeah. Just gonna order some food, eat that real quick, wake up, and uh, we'll get straight to it. Hi, uh, can I have two farmer's wraps? Uh, sausage, please. Uh, no, just the sandwiches, and um, I'll have a uh, medium uh, iced coffee. No, that's it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Here at my buddy Max's place, and we're gonna get started. Got the car all parked up, ready to go, and uh, he'll just uh, give a brief overview of what we're gonna be doing. Hi, my name is Max. Uh, today we're going to be detailing Smurf's car. Uh, I just want to say by no means I'm a professional. I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, this is just uh, pretty much uh, a quick detail for my friend, essentially. Uh, so today we're just going to start with the engine bay uh, first. This engine bay is not too, uh, not too dirty or anything, so we're just going to start with a dry cleaning uh, with the compressor. And then we're going to move on with the, just a quick uh, cleaning solution uh, inside this foam cannon. This is just a handmade foam cannon. <laughs> and then uh, we'll just rinse it off and it should be pretty much good uh, after this point. We're gonna cover the battery obviously, we're gonna cover the alternator, we don't want water to get on there. Uh, newer cars sometimes have to relearn stuff when you un unplug the negative pole, so we're just gonna cover it up. It, we, we shouldn't get too much water anyways in here, so it's not gonna short anything. <laughs> but yeah, right. that's pretty much it. That's the first step we're gonna do right now. All right, let's go. Nothing too crazy. I actually try not to water everywhere because hmm. that's actually not comforting but what I can do is I can drag water and then just like you know come a little bit lighter with it makes it a little bit better it's a little bit more gentle in these areas hmm. kind of like a ASMR the sounds the cleaning <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's true that's fine. Long and boring is what this is. <laughs> honestly. But honestly, not too much. You know, five minutes. You should touch every area. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you rinse off. So how often should people clean their engine bays? Like to um, honestly, whether your engine bay is dirty or clean, it's actually not gonna like affect your car. The only thing it can affect is like let's say metal. Right. You know, if you don't clean your car, you start to get corrosion on poles like here, let's say, and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, your bolts, you know. Uh, that's the only way I could see it uh, as like a bad thing. Okay. Uh, it, it's obviously good for your car to be clean, though. You know. Yeah. Uh, you'd want to be able to look in your engine bay, see if your car has a problem. If it's uh, yeah, if dirty it's leaking and you don't or see something. anything, it's kind of bad. Is it raining? A little bit. Oh wow. Okay. But it's not supposed to uh, downpour anything today, so... Okay, no, definitely, eh? No, no, that's what I saw. That's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yes. You just run me clean your car. <laughs> right. Perfect for it to be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. You can't win with weather, though. No. You can't win. You really cannot win, so... Hey, you take what you can, man. <laughs> and look at that, the difference, man. It's like, uh... Fresh off the lot, bro. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I like the fact that it's not uh, glossy and it's not, you know? Yeah. Most some people like that, so. Jeez. Well, this is just the engine bay, so I'm looking forward to what uh, the exterior is going to look like. Definitely. This is shocking. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright guys, first step is basically done. The engine bay is clean, as you saw. So we're going to be doing a quick overview of just, I guess, cleaning the exterior. I'll let Max, obviously, talk about it more in detail, but... Uh, it's been raining the past couple days on and off, so obviously you can see here, not so not so good. But the doctor's back, so he'll <laughs> yes, he'll sir. take good care of this car. <laughs> yes, sir. Now we're gonna do a small interior cleaning. Uh, just the mats there. This car's actually not dirty at all. It's just a, you know, might as well. We're right there. 
then obviously yes i know the smudge on my windshield because i have killed a, all right, a spider all right, right all the windows <laughs> interior are going to be cleaned but yes uh, a spider died uh, here <laughs> a bit of guts <laughs> it's okay left it uh, for the other ones <laughs> all right hi <laughs> sorry okay we're pretty much uh, at a new step now we've done the uh, engine bay cleaning we've done uh, a small interior uh, de-dusting de debris uh, now we're actually gonna start working on the paint here. Uh, the first step is to give it obviously a good wash, but uh, unlike regular washes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a special type of soap that strips all the waxes and pretty much preps the surface for us to compound and polish. So regular car soap actually has waxes and all these types of products, so it doesn't actually leave a clean surface like mm. dish soap would. You could theoretically use dish soap, but obviously these have a little bit added chemicals there. They're more paint safe <laughs> than your dish soap. So we're pretty much going to do that, and then from then on, we're actually going to continue and start uh, compounding. Nice. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, not bad, eh? Yeah. That comes out pretty nice, though. So we're starting with the wheels, and then after, with the actual body of the car. Yeah. 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 Jesus. Hard to get behind your wheels. So right now we're at the first phase of cleaning Zmurf car, prepping for the uh, compound polish. So we're essentially doing a thorough wash here. Uh, we're starting off with the mags. Zmurf uh, has a lot of brake dust <laughs> on these mags. Uh, so we had to use uh, an iron remover. In this case, we used the uh, Cars Pro iron uh, remover. Uh, doing a pretty good job, as you can see. Uh, this is fairly effective. Essentially, you yeah. want to do that because uh, his mags are really rough and also that there's so much iron on it. The purple is essentially the iron being uh, dissolved by the product uh, and it's telling you that it's actually working and if you don't let it sit too long then you can just rinse it off like so and you're pretty much left with the shiny new mag that Crazy. is ready to be protected. <laughs> on some of them we do two passes, some of them we don't. This one is pretty much nice so much the end result. You look pretty much brand Jeez. new, Murph. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's step one. We're almost done. Just need the rear one now. And uh, we're going to start with the third wash now. <laughs> Alright, so we're pretty much just done with the mags at this point. Uh, they're nice and clean. Uh, so we're, right now we're going to attack the actual paint. So we're going to do a clean rinse off of the car. Uh, I actually don't have a pressure washer or a pressure washer broke. So we're going to be wah, just wah, using wah. my hose. <laughs> it actually doesn't really matter. We're going to be using those hose, uh, this car is not too dirty, just rinse it off and then we're going to do a contact uh, wash, um, Get trying to get all the nooks and crannies, uh, just get it nice and clean for us to then um, compound and polish. The uh, car has to pretty much be flawed, so I don't want water to drip down when we compound or polish and ruining pretty much my past there, mm. so uh, the goal right now is just to get it as clean as possible. Okay. <laughs> so let's start with the rinse. Obviously, try not to wash your car in the sun. Uh, <laughs> Mother Nature is not with us, but uh, we'll definitely compound and polish inside the garage uh, right after. <laughs> All right, I forgot to mention. Uh, <laughs> so Merv parks under a, a tree. Uh, so Sadly. we all know that the tree uh, sap and everything. So we're actually going to use uh, tricks here uh, to remove any sorts of iron, sap, tar on his roof. And then we're just going to use an iron remover on his uh, door seals in the bottom. So that way, you know, any brake dust or road grime that's stuck onto his paint. We're actually removed before we even come and wash the car. Essentially, I don't want to come and wash the car and move it all around on his paint and stuff and scratch it even more of the paint and stuff or even get into my, my towels and mm -hmm. just try to remove that and like <laughs> that. So just a quick rinse to expose a fresh layer and then right away just a spray on application. So you just gently just... Yeah, just apply it, let it sit for a couple minutes. Just like we did with the mags, it's the same product. Uh, it's an iron remover. Uh, usually sap doesn't really fall on the sides of the car, so that's why we don't really need to do a sap removal here. Hmm. But uh, yeah, there's definitely iron. You can feel it with your fingers when you, you know, let's say you come with the paint and analyze it, you just feel like it's rough. There's <laughs> most likely a debris on it, which is most of the time iron. Yeah. 
And for the roof, we use tar, different product, different properties, but kind of similar. It does remove iron, but just not as good. But we don't really want that. We usually want it for the, for the tar here. Hmm. Yeah, this one definitely smells better than the other one that you were yeah. spraying. I was like, yeah, the other one smells better. Well, uh, really strong. The other one, honestly. We should be putting a mask, but I got the lemon <laughs> scent, so it should be safe enough. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Let the product sit, not too long. Uh, man, you really don't want this to dry on your paint. It's kind of the worst thing ever. Mm. But uh, you know, uh, generally we're in the sun right now, so you know, three minutes instead of five. <laughs> right. If you would not be in the sun, I'd say five minutes. Uh, we're pretty much at the contact wash part now uh, of the wash, so we're essentially just starting out. Uh, when I wash my car, it's usually uh, just a quick tip. Okay. <laughs> quick tip: 95% of the scratches from your car are caused by improper washing. Uh, all the swirls and stuff is pretty much from people, well, anyone coming to their car and washing in circles. That's why you have circles in your car. Hmm. So, essentially, what I like to do with washing, you want to keep as much water as possible uh, inside your chenille mitt. And uh, I definitely recommend an element. And when you're washing, try not to put your hand in it. Try to actually just lay your hand flat on it and try to put the least amount of pressure. Start from the top to the bottom because you don't want to drag whatever is on the bottom on the top. Usually the top of the car is the cleanest. So move your way down in circles and just uh, keep her going. Try to oh. less amount of pressure on this because the more pressure, well, the more scratches. Okay. That's just how it is. <laughs> Just gonna say one clean swipe and you can already see the. Uh, yeah, the pearlescent. That's there. crazy. We we'll also use uh, some pretty good tripping uh, agent uh, so that way we can get it prepped there. So it's definitely gonna be nice and clean and essentially bare as soon as we're done the uh, the wash here. So we can polish and not polish any sorts of waxes that are currently on the car or whatnot hmm. when we get, get this done. So just nice and bare. It's good. We're done washing down the car. We're gonna dry it off, right, Max? Yes, sir. We're gonna dry it. I'm just uh, putting a couple of stuff away. I like also the uh, uh, the air to just dry it mm -hmm. as much as I can. Uh, definitely man, helps. <laughs> definitely helps with the water. You can already see. Even though we just gave it a quick little wash, it looks uh, a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's got a nice little refresh already. Damn. Bad, you know. Yeah. Well, we brought the car in. So yeah, essentially what we're going to do now is we're going to go panel to panel. Um, essentially the first step uh, when you get into a new panel is essentially we're going to use our erasers and remove all the oils and everything, just makes it bare and nice and clean. And then we're going to attack the panel with one passive compound. So for this correction, we're going to try the Microfiber DA, the MC5 from Meguiar's with their correction compound that's made for this pad. I uh, usually have good luck with a single pass with this uh, setup, but we're obviously going to try a couple of them, see what works best. But we're fairly strong with this. This car doesn't have a lot of scratches, mostly swirls. So swirl is usually uh, easier to polish, get out. Yeah. But we're going to do a little bit higher than that. Gonna try to do a small correction on some areas, and then just a quick little polish there. And this should already be good. It already looks pretty good. It does. It, does. <laughs> it is bare at the moment, so after we're done the correction, we're going to reseal it. Um, I'm still going to show you either way. So we're going to use Reload uh, from uh, CarPro. Uh, it's a SiO2 based product sealant. Uh, should be more than fun. If you see us CarPro, uh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, please sponsor us. <laughs> cool, so we're pretty much at the first stage of compound. So we just primed our pad here with eight dots, spread it around, and we're actually going to do the first pass. I usually use four dots. I feel like it's a good coverage for amount. Uh, essentially, how I like to apply the product is I see a lot of people like they go all around the hood and they scrape it and stuff. Like honestly, just do this, just do this, do a little section here. We're going to go and do this small section. I put it to one, spread it around. And I'm going to work half the section. Hmm. and then work the other half. So I like to have my phone up here as well. So on this orbital sander, to actually apply it, it's level number six for compound, so we're gonna put it all the way up to level six now.
surgery guys, he's the doctor. Look, he's got his, his apron here, he's, he's ready for surgery, look at him. Definitely, right? He's not just Max the car and make your whole stuff. Look, okay, it even, even says Max Shine. It's Max, you know? Yeah, it's me, bro. <laughs> oh, here we go. Front end is more or less done. No? Yeah, we'll theoretically missing the other fender there. Yeah, we just did that side. It's pretty much done. Yeah. It's not done though, we did a compound. Mm -hmm. but, uh, it's still come back for a polish, but most scratches are out. Yeah, like. We essentially reached that 95% correction we wanted. Big gouges are still there, but we're trying See? to minimize on clear removal. You so see the, the we gotta delete. accept some imperfections. Yeah. Be here all day if you want to. <laughs> oh, it's definitely looking very good. After a long time, we're finally done for the compound stage. Uh, we're pretty much ready for polishing now. We changed out our pads. We're using a 5-inch uh, 
four inch to five inch uh, uh, Rupes pad. It's a four inch back end. Uh, sorry, it's a five inch back end plate to a six inch pad. So the perfect compound we're going to be using is the Sonax Perfect Finish. Essentially a glossifier with very low capability of cutting, but we don't need to cut. Most swells are gone. Big scratches are gone. Obviously not perfect, but uh, this is going to give it the nice deep gloss we need uh, in relation with the pad. Uh, we're going to do a test panel here, probably the whole hood, see how it goes, but uh, should be pretty darn good. Uh, online Apparently he's going to give me a go too to try this oh, out. Oh, definitely. So. <laughs> actually, most likely going to do it. Polishing is actually super easy in comparison to compound since it, there's no correction right now. It's just a glossifier. And uh, <clears throat> you use way less, way, way less compound to do a whole area. So a little bit different, but much less involving. So Merv is doing the polish, doing a pretty good job. Anyone can do this on so polish is very simple then. I'm so focused right now. <laughs> yes sir. No stress. We got this. So once it's done, you can put it to six there and start the polishing. It's pretty much ready. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, put it to six. Try to go a bit slower, less circles, more straight. Get me better. Come up to here. Definitely looks glossy. Wow. Yes, sir. I mean, polishing is, uh, you could be doing blindfolding, honestly. <laughs> it still comes out pretty darn good. It's definitely that nice uh, pop we wanted. Wow. The finish, uh, the perfect uh, finish by Sonax is really something else, honestly. It's probably the best product ever. At least best polisher. It just it's so smooth after to the touch yeah. like it's crazy yeah that compound has very low cutting capability but like i said it's, it gives you a nice fresh layer so obviously it's not a one-step correction mm -hmm. it doesn't really correct but i mean to some degree you know combination with the rupes pad the yellow pad finishing pad it's really hmm. popping <laughs> <laughs> okay many hours later and uh we're almost done we finally brought it out did the uh, the whole whole procedure almost? We just have to uh, wash her up. Yeah, get rid of all these little specks here of polish and compound. Mm -hmm. Get her all nice and clean, and then we'll seal her. And then we're done. Mm -hmm. Seal it shouldn't be too long. We're gonna use the applicator pad here. Wait a minute per panel, buff off. Mm -hmm. uh, very simple. But man, it came out really good. Eh? Yeah, for yeah, sure. It looks really nice. It's, uh, I don't know. Really, uh, black pearls. Yeah, Man, you, you can, see, the pearls you can like see it really, like, really especially on this side, uh, Max, if you check here. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. Yeah, straight in the sun, right? <laughs>
There's a little bit of specks of everywhere, but yeah, let's get her I'm gonna clean. wash it. It's all good. All right, guys. So we just took it out in the sun now, and look at all that. <laughs> That is crazy, man. I never seen it that uh, like pearly, flaky like that. Wow. Yeah, she's definitely a stunner, man. This is very nice paint, man. You see the pearls right away. It's wow. crazy. Like uh, this Probably. angle is crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm actually gonna move, so. <laughs> 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 yeah, she's definitely. Uh, you guys definitely can see. Like she was this morning. <laughs> you can see it right here. Yeah. Man, wow. looking nice, bro. Really nice. That is a nice black. <laughs> Jeez. Well, man, uh, thanks again. I appreciate it. Sir. No problem, man. Anytime, man. Seriously, anyone who wants it, you can come and get it. So yeah. Just DM uh, me, and then uh, we'll make it happen. Yeah. What's your uh, Instagram? So My Instagram know? is ly9b underscore underscore underscore. Because <laughs> <laughs> they was already taken with the underscore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if ever if you're in the Montreal area. Definitely hit them up. Definitely. And, uh, you can always uh, inbox me and he'll tell you. Uh, yeah. My details. But, uh, wow. Yeah. The best she's ever looked, that's for sure. Yeah, she looks good. Wow. By the way, we sealed her with CarPro uh, Reload. Uh, I prob we probably didn't show there, but uh, oh, it's okay. just an easy application. Uh, we applicated it and then we buffed it off. Mm. Not easy. So now the car is actually compound, polished, and then from then on we just sealed it. So mm. it can stay like this for many, many many months hopefully. <laughs> yes hopefully <laughs> yes, all right guys well if this is your first time please like home subscribe all that goodness and i'll see you in the next video take care peace Ciao.